Have you ever met this issue? Every time when you try to make an outbound call, you always hear the voice. The call simply wouldn't go out. Wondering why? When your outbound call fails, the first thing you need to do is check your extension and trunk's working status. If they're not connected or registered correctly, that's probably the reason, with no doubt. However, in some cases, there's nothing wrong with the extension or trunk. So what are you supposed to do? Well, according to our experience, most possibly the problem is caused by a big confusion between you and your PBX. Well, well, let's take a few minutes to explain what happened here. For any type of PBX, the internal call will always have the first priority. In other words, unless you indicate outgoing calls, otherwise, the PBX will always consider the call as an internal call and send it to an internal extension. As the result, if the number you've dialed matches an internal number, all right, the call will be sent. But if you originally intend to make an album call, the number you've dialed surely won't match any extension number, and the system will consider that you are calling to an extension which doesn't exist. That's why you hear this voice. That's, in fact, the voice of misunderstanding. Now, let's see how to fix it. The most important thing we need to do is to help the system recognize internal and external numbers as much as we can so that all numbers dialed by internal users will reach the intended destinations instead of mistakenly taken as an internal number. Generally speaking, there are two ways optional. Plan A, if you need to configure a new telephone system, you can predefine the number range of the internal extensions. In order to distinguish the internal and external numbers as much as we can, we should carefully set the starting number of extension. For example, if the telephone system deployed in your country and the external number may start with digit 5, 6, 7, and 8, and 0 is always the prefix for region code, so it shouldn't be taken. Considering this, we can predefine extension numbers beginning with digit 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9. Say we choose digit 9. Then, whenever we dial a number beginning with digit 9, it must be an internal number, and the system will reach for the destination within the system. If we dial a number not starting with digit 9, the system will tell it's an external number and send it out through certain outbound roads directly. This is the first method suitable for a new telephone system. If it's a well-configured telephone system and you don't want to change the number range of your extensions, which is a very common case, so you can set a prefix in the dial pattern of all outbound roads. For example, extensions in this system range from 100 to 199. They're all started with digit 1. However, some external extensions are also started with digit 1. In this case, it is supposed to set a prefix in dial pattern. It could be any digit except 1. Say, we set digit 9 as a prefix. This pattern will match all numbers starting with digit 9, yet exclude number 9 itself, because wildcard will match any remaining digits. With this dial pattern, when we dial a number starting with digit 9, the system won't consider it as an internal extension, but match this outbound road to send it out. The setting well distinguishes internal and outgoing costs. By the way, don't forget to drop the first digit before the number is sent out, since the prefix 9 doesn't exist in the actual number, but only works to indicate external numbers. In strip, set the value to 1. It means the first digit will be dropped. Additionally, don't forget to tell employees to dial the prefix first before the actual number. With the help of prefix, you don't have to change your existing extension number range, and at the same time, all outgoing calls will be established successfully. These are two ways to fix the issue of failure to make outgoing calls. You can try the settings on your PBX and see how it works. If you're interested in more advanced settings on S-Series PBX, 
subscribe our YouTube channel. Next episode, we're going to talk about the configurations of the firewall. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Get more updates. I will see you in the next one.